the head of the Secret Service uh, is resigning or appears to be resigning, um, but that should not close this case by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, Pat and I want to go over some of the audio from yesterday. Let's start with Comer uh, with Cheadle struggling to answer any of his questions. Cut 11. At any point Saturday, did the Secret Service have an agent on top of that roof? Sir, I'm sure as you can imagine that we are just nine days out from this uh, incident and there's still an ongoing investigation. And so I want to make sure that any information that we are providing so, to you so, is so factual. You, you can't, okay. Why did the Secret Service not, can you answer why the Secret Service didn't place a single agent on the roof? We are still looking into the advanced process and the decisions right, that were right. made. Okay, okay. Let's, wasn't that building within the perimeter that should be secured. Do we agree with that? The building was outside of the perimeter on the day of the visit. But again, that is one of the things that during the investigation we want to take a look at and determine whether or not other decisions should have been made. One of the <laughs> things that you said, I believe, in an interview that there wasn't an agent on the roof because it was a sloped roof, is that, is that normal? And do you fear that that immediately creates an opportunity for future would-be assassins to look for a slanted roof? I mean, it, it, this is a huge question that every American has. Why wasn't a Secret Service agent on the roof? And there have been reports that agents were supposed to be on the roof, but it was hot that day and they didn't want to be on the roof. Can you answer any of those questions, Director? So I appreciate you asking me that question, Chairman. Uh, I should have been more clear in my answer when I spoke about where we place personnel in that interview. Uh, what I can tell you is that uh, there was a plan in place to provide overwatch, and we are still looking into responsibilities and who was going to provide overwatch. Uh, but the Secret Service in general, not speaking specifically to this incident, when we are providing overwatch, whether that be through counter snipers mm -hmm. or other technology, okay. prefer to have sterile rooftops. Did the Secret Service uh, use any drones sterile. for surveillance that day? So again, I'm not going to get into okay. specifics of that uh, day. And it's she couldn't answer mm, anything, anything. No. yesterday. Not, not one no. thing. Eden Pure is back with their famous thunderstorm air purifier. It's their top seller air purifier that quickly destroys viruses, odors, mold, and so much more. With thousands of five-star reviews, you know it works. Any smell will vanish after just a few seconds of the thunderstorm being plugged in. Odors, litter boxes, trash can cigarette smokes, dirty diapers. Wow, I don't want to visit that house. The powerful thunderstorm sends out O3 molecules that seek out and destroy odors. I have these in my house, they're great. The molecules go uh, behind and under furniture. Nothing can hide from the thunderstorm. Best of all, no filters to buy over and over again, saving you money. Start enjoying your home again and get several thunderstorms. Right now, you can save $200 on an Eden Pure Thunderstorm 3-pack for the whole home protection. You get three units for under $200. Put one in your basement, bedroom, family room, kitchen, wherever you need the air to be clean. Go to EdenPureDeals.com. EdenPureDeals.com. Use the promo code BECK and save. If you were the head of the Secret Service, it's been over a week now, you're the head of the Secret Service, you walk into people's office the minute that uh -huh. happens and say, I want answers right now. Who is in charge she of oversight? to be... Right? Right. I mean, it takes Who? two minutes Who? to find that out. Come on, it doesn't take 10 it, days to find that out. Right. We're still looking into it, are uh, we? Shut now, up. she had a problem with Jim Jordan as well. Here's cut 20. The president and the vice president. Talk to the first lady? No, I have not. Talk to the White House staff? Anyone in the White House communications? <laughs> no, I have not. Have you talked to the counter sniper who took the shot that took out the bad guy? Yes, I have. And can you tell us about that conversation? I would not want to reveal conversations that I've had with my employees. <laughs> oh, geez. But that's exactly the kind of information the American people want to know. American mm -hmm. people who pay your salary. I understand. This is an ongoing investigation. And I Who's all doing the investigating at Secret Service? I know the Inspector General, but is there also an internal investigation in addition to the Inspector General? We are conducting a mission assurance investigation internally, yes. You know what it looks like, Director? It looks like you won't answer some pretty basic questions. It looks like you got a 9% raise and you cut corners when it came to protecting one of the most important individuals, most well-known individuals on the planet. A former president, likely the guy who's going to be the next president. It looks like you guys were cutting corners. That's what it looks like to me.
Mm. Uh, let's go to cut 27. Here's Andy Biggs. Your agency has a no-fail mission, and on Saturday, July 13th, your agency spectacularly failed. The failure resulted in the death of Corey Comprator and serious injury to two other rally attendees, David Dutch and James Copenhaver, besides the injuries to President Trump. It is unfathomable that a 20-year-old on the radar of Secret Service and local law enforcement before President Trump went on stage was able to climb onto the roof of a building with a rifle and fire off multiple rounds before he was neutralized. Was Mr. Crooks acting alone? Again, I would have to refer you to the FBI's investigation. Was he just a lone gunman? I would have to refer you to the FBI's investigation for motive. That's not motive. That's no. asking, uh, is she, she revealed something there on motive, don't you think? Uh, was he acting alone? You'll have to talk to them about the motive. Well, wait. That, uh, yeah. No, that's a different yeah. That doesn't answer. seem to go to motive, uh, so that's interesting. No. Mm. Yeah. Uh, mm. AOC, I mean, the, the left was tearing her apart as well. Here's oh, AOC yeah. cut seven. So the notion of a report coming out in 60 days when the threat environment is so high in the United States, irrespective of party, is not acceptable. And I think it's very important to understand that. This is not theater. This is not about jockeying. This is about the safety of some of the most highly targeted mm -hmm. and valued targets internationally and domestically in the United States of America. So the idea that a report will be finalized in 60 days, let alone prior to any actionable uh, decisions that would be made, is simply not acceptable. It has been 10 days mm. since an assassination attempt on a former president of the United States, mm. regardless of party. There need to be answers. Wow. Felt That's a little... the uh, best thing I think I've ever heard her say. Oh, by far. <laughs> by far. Mm -hmm. Felt a little bipartisan there yesterday, didn't it? It, it did well because, as we have been saying on this program forever, the president of the United States, the current one, mm -hmm. if he's not dead already, uh, yeah. uh, you know, he's in danger. Kamala Harris is in danger. RFK is in danger. Mm -hmm. We cannot have a, a slew yep. of assassination attempts. Can't. God forbid one of them die. It'll tear this country apart. Uh, here's another Democrat. This is Moskowitz from uh, Florida, Democrat to Cheadle. Cut 10. Director, I, I, I just want to give you an honest assessment of how this is going for you today. <laughs> Did you happen to catch the hearing many months ago in education where there were a bunch of university professor, uh, university presidents and Elise Stefanik asked a very easy question and couldn't get an, an answer? Did you see that hearing? No, I don't think I did. Okay, well, let me tell you, it didn't go well, and the short end of that story was those university professors all resigned. They're gone. That's how this is going for you. <laughs> this is where this is headed, okay? This is, I don't know who prepared you for this. I don't know how many times you've testified in front of Congress but a president was almost assassinated live on television, not just for Americans, but for the world to see. And this being your first opportunity, I understand there's an ongoing investigation. I understand there's things that you can not talk about. But the, the idea that we're getting less than you did on television is something that Democrats, independents, mm. or Republicans are going to find unacceptable. Uh. Now, there was Nancy Mace, who was a little more plain spoken. Cut 12. Was this a colossal failure? It was a failure. Yes or no? Was it a colossal failure is the question. Yes or no? I have admitted this is a terrible This is a failure. yes or no series of questions. Was this a colossal failure? Yes or no? Yes. Have you provided a list to the Oversight Committee? Yes I, or no? I'll have to get back to you on that. <laughs> that is a no. Have you provided all audio and video recordings in your possession to this committee, as we asked on July 15th, yes or no? I would have to get back to you. That, that. is a no. You're full of <laughs> today. You're just mm -hmm. being completely dishonest. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> uh, and then uh, we have um, uh, Representative Fallon. 
who said this to Cheadle Cut 13. You know what else is dangerous? I believe your horrifying ineptitude and your lack of skilled leadership is a disgrace. Your obfuscating today is shameful. And you should be fired immediately and go back to Garden Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> she used to work uh, security at Pepsi. Yeah. That's why she was guarding Doritos. Yeah. I, <laughs> That's great. I, I found that amazing. When I first, when the assassination first happened, I looked her up and I'm like, where did she come from? And I saw that she was head of security for Pepsi. And I'm like, mm-hmm. you, you got to be <laughs> kidding me. You're now the head of the Secret Service? Well, how many Doritos really? do you know were killed? During her watch. None. 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 Not a None. single Dorito None. was Not murdered while one. she was there. And especially all those Coke lovers out there that just want to, you know, knock off cans of, of Pepsi. Uh-huh. She had her job cut out for her. I mean, yeah, she really she had her work cut out for her. She it did. was very difficult. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> now, here's what I'm afraid of, that this is going to stop this investigation because yeah. Yeah. it can't. It cannot stop this investigation she has um uh she we have to know what her devices uh, what's on her devices why was she using signal when talking to the white house from her own personal phone that's against the law did the white house know that that was happening what were they talking about that's really mm-hmm. important to find out. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, I, I think everybody on that Secret Service detail should be brought in front of Congress and have to answer themselves. You know, it's one thing to be told, shut up, sit down, shut up, don't say anything. It's another when you're going to be blamed for it on national television. So yeah. are you telling yeah. me when you went and you uh, surveyed the site that didn't occur to you that that was a, a big problem, that you should have somebody secure that. Is that what you wrote down in your report? Is well, that but because you should be fired right now? They couldn't, Glenn, because it, there was a slope. It was hot. And the sun, we, we're, this is just breaking. The sun was in their eyes. What so. kind of pussy willows do we have on the, I mean, that's what we should call the Secret Service presidential detail, the pussy willows. <laughs> We're just, we're out here. It's hot. I don't know. I'm I don't want to get on a fuzzy. sloped roof. That's, there's a 3% Sloped grade roof. there. I'm not getting out there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. It's unbelievable. You didn't exactly have to be a mountain goat to navigate that roof. No. <laughs> no. It's almost no. flat. No. You really didn't. Uh, you really didn't. Man. I mean, it is, it, it is their... Uh, they're just, you would quest, I question the manhood mm-hmm. of every single person that was on the Secret Service detail or on the local detail if they were like, it's hot. Right. It's you very know. hot. <laughs> Who do we have? Dylan Mul- Mulvaney out? You know, Dylan, you watch the roof. Okay, but girl power. <laughs> I'm not going to walk on that roof. It's hot and sloped. And, and I'm in heels- my heels today. I'm in my heels. <laughs> 